And I'll tell you, I, I was seriously considering not doing this podcast. And, and it's this book, uh, Sam Harris, uh, acquaintance of mine who does podcasts, who I was on his podcast, very uh, smart guy, brilliant guy. And, you know, he sent me an email and said, hey, Jocko, check out this book. And, you know, he said it's about the Rwandan genocide. And I immediately said, hey, you know, I was, I was there. I mean, I wasn't on the ground, but we were there waiting to go in. So I immediately knew what he was talking about. And he's, you know, he basically said it's by the killers. And so I immediately ordered it on Amazon. And as soon as I got it, and I just read it. And at first I was excited, you know, thinking, oh, this is really, this is going to be impactful. But as I went deeper and deeper into it, I started saying to myself, maybe I don't do this podcast. Maybe I don't do it. Because like I said, it's, it's almost too much. I think it is too much. And for that very reason, I'm going to do it. Because we, we can't. We, we, we must not deny that evil exists and that humans can be evil. And as the preface of the book continues, our obligation, and it is an obligation, is to take what human beings are capable of doing to one another, not spontaneously, crimes of this order are never spontaneous, but when mobilized to think of other human beings, people who were their school friends, neighbors, co-workers, and fellow parishioners, as not human beings at all. And when organized for and directed to the task of slaughter. For the issue finally is not judgment, it is understanding. To make the effort to understand what happened in Rwanda is a painful task that we have no right to shirk. It is part of being a moral adult.